I love the cat. You know me. I know. Uh, she shows you where the fiction section is. Um, what about you, Ashton? You went with him into the library. She's saying hello to I'm, both I'm of you. I'm with Ophelia. I want to know if she's interested in anything. Okay. Um, technology. Hi. Load books on technology. Your, your, your weapons. She's interested on in that. Uh, they don't really have any like gun books or anything like that. Uh, there's some history books that you could that you could read up on, uh, the canon and stuff like that. You know, if you want, yeah, yeah, she'll read up on that, uh, or she'll look over it. Um, she's, the librarian's willing to. I'm looking for uh, any medical stuff. Huh? I'm looking for any medical. Uh, give me a luck check. There's probably yeah. not. So, but if you make a luck check, then you find some obscure medical journal that ended up here for some reason. Uh, I'm actually just gonna trepanate through the book that Stoy gave me. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> nope. Okay, uh, no, there's there's no medical, really not much. There's a couple of um, basic first aid stuff, and that's about it. So that's all you find. You trusted it, huh? I got I got enough of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, I want to look for uh, I want to look for like younger kids books. <laughs> there's some like there's some there's some they, 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 Treasure Rise is not a kids book. It really isn't. Like it's like learners book. or something. Like yeah, they they do have some learners and stuff from uh yeah, there's no actual like the school house is outside of town, so it's not listed on I don't think. Um, so yeah, you could find some learners if you want. And she's willing to give you all library cards and sign you up and everything. Um there's like a dollar deposit. Uh and that money's kept as earnest money just in case you don't bring any books back, but that's it. So if you want to get a library card, she's more than willing to help you. Cool. Um, uh, Ophelia is rude to her, as she is to everybody. Uh, let's see. Uh, who next? Okay, Yori, how do you want to bring, get brought into this real quick? I'm in a saloon. You're in a saloon, yeah, that's right. You're probably in Jim and jo- uh, Lily Jones' saloon. Uh, I don't get this real easy, I thought. The library, because I don't want to know more about the horn. I could ask for rumors. Saloons and stuff? Yeah. Did you say library, too? I said instead of the library. Instead of the library, yeah, yeah. Um, you find <laughs> the uh, Boar's Head Saloon is just a saloon. There's no hotel, and then the Bull Palace. Head. I'm sorry, Bull's Head, and then the I know I can't remember anything. And then the the Empire Saloon is actually a saloon hotel that looks upper scale, probably very expensive. We're going to Bull's Head. Uh, yeah, there's uh, people in there, um, playing cards. A few even during the day, mostly cowboys, that kind of thing. It is a Tuesday. Uh, so it's pretty, it, there's not many people in during the day, because you guys arrive around 3 o'clock on the 3 o'clock train. And uh, there's a gentleman behind the bar, um, you see a man in the corner, and um, you also spot somebody that you recognize. Oh. Oh, indeed. It's Twilliger. <laughs> God, it's not, it's not <laughs> Twilliger. It's not Twilliger. Here it is. Who is it? <laughs> Okay. He is uh he is at a at a table in the corner. He appears to be playing poker with himself. He's got a <laughs> poker hand and he keeps checking the other one. He goes, Oh no! I got the voice. All right. He's got a bottle there and it's about only about a quarter. I want to walk up to him and say, Okay. Pete motherfucking son. <laughs> motherfucking. I mother. thought you were dead twice now and yet here you are again. Well, it's an nice Asian girl. <laughs> what are you doing? You know what, Pete? That's good enough from you. I won't, I won't, I won't harsh you on that one. What are you doing here? Did they send you? They sent you, didn't they? I knew that they knew that I would come if they didn't want me to know that they was knowing I was coming. Damn. <laughs> I'm still looking for stuff that fell off that train we were both on. Sure, it was train. Here. What? Oh, I get you. I know what you're talking about. It fell off the train. I get you. You were on that train. You got shot on that train. Is Jack West here? Uh, no. I'm, I'm, Good. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> no, which, I didn't really want to see you either, but all right. Uh, why don't you sit down and have a drink with me? Oh, sure. I can play a hand. All right. I'll get a drink. I'll okay. play a hand of poker with him. You're trying to win. I mean, I, I don't know if I know <laughs> the rules of poker. <laughs> Okay. Can I play poker with the devil? Next level. Gambling is a check. Can I? Gambling. Yeah, I was going to say. Check. Can I come over? Uh, whenever I see that someone sat, finally sat down with the man and played oh. poker by himself. <laughs> yeah, you could be in there. We can do it all. What? Yeah. I'm. I'm uh, 
I'm very bad at interpersonal skills as well. Yeah. But I think Jakali knows that this game is more about your like poker face and your attitude more. Okay. So she's just trying to like intimidate the shit out of Pete Souther, whether that's worth it or not. Intimidate? Well, no, but like she's trying to like be like, oh, I know these cards are good, and like you really think you can test that? You know, she's that's trying not, to fake him that's out. That's not intimidation, though. I know, but she's trying to fake him out. Okay, okay. Regardless, she doesn't know what her cards are. She doesn't know what they do. She doesn't know the rules of poker, but she's okay, like, okay. she knows, like, you know, she knows she fakes people she out. She doesn't know the rules of poker. Make me first. Make me a luck check. And then you can make a gambling check. And if you make them both... I got a 69 on the luck check. Is that a success? Uh, no, it's not, but it's, it's nice. Okay. <laughs> so you got cards, all right. Go ahead and make me a gambling check. Worth it. <laughs> Where the hell is Peach Setter? Where's gambling? Uh, Peach Setter. Is it 01? It's out. Oh, it's it should be 10%. 10%. I think. I got a 39. Okay. Yeah. So you both had shitty cards. So, because uh, he rolled like a 31. So, so I get to roll anything for my uh, fake out? No. Yeah. Okay. Not unless you want to try to fast talk and trick him. Yeah, let's okay, do it. Okay, make a fast talk. Five percent. Oh my god. Might as well. Uh, Thirty-eight, nope. <laughs> no, okay, so you lose. And that seems to put him in a great mood. It's not like you were really betting any money, more than like a penny or something. Uh, he doesn't seem to care. And then this this crusty old prospector comes over. Crust. Yeah, crusty's a good word for him. Crusty's a great word. Are you talking? You're just going to stand there, Yori, and look at them while they play poker. I'm judging uh, whether I should sit down. I've, I've looked at the other poker tables, and I was like, no, those guys those guys are too good. There's probably not many people in here playing right now, oh, yeah. because it's the middle of the day. Um, yeah. Well, you well, see wait, did you walk over? And you see Jakali with okay, a handful okay. of guys. Did you I, walk I was, over before I, you sat I, down? I would pull down, I pulled out, 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 I pulled <laughs> no, describe yourself, Yori. What is your character? Um, like? no, there's a picture. Uh, there's a picture. Yeah, I do have a picture. Yeah, there's a picture on the uh, Facebook well, page. Well, he's he's old. old. I thought it was yours. Man. I thought it was yours. Oh, I'm, I'm like 61. My dad's oh, my dad is too. Oh, well, we do have Oh, my dad is too. Man. Of course he is. You're old as the hills. <laughs> <laughs> it's this guy. Yikes. Oh, Jesus. Correct? Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Why aren't you dead yet, too? I love you, I guess. That's a shame. <laughs> well, I actually don't know if you love me. <laughs> what um, brings you to our uh, card table, lucky. sir? Well, I'll tell you, I'm playing some poker. I'm going to come over, try my luck. You're a card shark, ain't you? I know it when I see you. Oh, actually, yeah, he's pretty lucky. You're a card shark. I know you're a I know a card shark when I see one. Oh, See? Oh, he doesn't even know. He's not even denying it. You guys can play some cards yeah, if you sure. want. Uh, during the game, I want to ask Peter. He, he does like flash money a bunch. Oh, okay. oh look. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. And then he this heavy. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much how he plays. Uh, what did you want to ask? I don't Peter? know if Pete knows anything about the horn, but during our game, while he's in a good mood, I want to ask him if he's heard anything in the town about uh, weird stuff or the silver artifacts coming in. Something about it that doesn't necessarily talk about it. Because I don't think he's actually... He, he hasn't heard about that. But, but, them secret service agents are the ones that sent me here. But they didn't send me here. If you get my drift. I don't get this drift. He looks like he's, we very, poker. He think, very, he's very clever. You guys are playing poker while you're talking. He says, I was hired to go up to Oregon. Wasn't I? Paid me $500. Didn't give me a pardon last time, so I didn't trust him. They paid you to go to Oregon? They paid me to go to Oregon. This ain't Oregon, is it? See how clever I am? <laughs> <laughs> they told me, go to Oregon. Some town. I don't even remember the name. But then I heard them whispering each other. We don't want him going to Devil's Ghost, Colorado. Overheard it. So, so I said, I'm going to Devil's Ghost, Colorado. That's right. I like you. Here I am. Consider. You truly are a man among men. I hate them. I'll go wherever they tell me not to. I got five hundred dollars spending money. I'm gonna join myself in this pissing little town. I'm looking around to see if anybody heard him say that. And I saw some a couple. Uh, he's, he's pretty loud. Uh, uh, a couple of people have looked in your direction. Uh, some of them like. And I saw somebody else on here too. I saw somebody else first day I was here. Oh, who was it? Well, that's gonna cost you some money. Mm. It's somebody important. <laughs> so you double my money. I will see. Got to do an idea, Chad. Double your money? You what? want five hundred dollars? Yes. Rumors. Yes, that would be double my money. 
I didn't know engines could do math. You Ooh. think I own the 500 whole dollars? We found out you got here two days ago, by the way. Okay. Uh, that's when he got here. Well, you got rich friends, ain't you? Well, not around right here. <laughs> oh, well, that's a shame. All right, I want to um, pull out the T-Rex tooth, and I'm going to say, this is uh, one uh, genuine uh, tooth of a giant lizard. I can offer you that, as in another one like it in the whole world. Why the hell would I want that? I can't do nothing. Okay? I'll take that. Yeah, give it to him. No, I'll take it back. Uh, oh, yeah. So, anything else you want to talk to Pete about? He's revealed the information that he needed to reveal. Okay. I, I might follow him around, but I don't want to. You're follow him around. I might. I'm saying yeah, I, don't, he, uh, I don't want to give him He's probably going to gonna spend some time here in the bar. He's not getting drunk, but he's drinking... Uh, he, uh, he asked for two more glasses for you two. He's obviously feeling a little generous. Right, he's willing to right. share his bottle of whiskey. I'm going to get you so. right in here. I'm going to ask him what he's doing in the town. I'm <laughs> drinking whiskey right now. No, but what brings you here? Well, I came for the silver. The silver? I told him there was silver something. I just heard the word silver. I got, I got, I got you didn't gold. hear a silver <laughs> present a silver horn, did you? No. Oh, okay. I just heard silver. What are the best spots to find silver in this town? Usually in caves. Well, mines. Uh, other people's mines <laughs> usually. I like them. Other people's mines. Dug up. I was wondering if you had any more specific uh, mines in mind. Mines haven't been explored yet. All right. Well, if you're going out, uh, probably at night. You don't want to go during the day. That's when they spot you. <laughs> Who is Knight? Can, can I nominate? <laughs> no. yeah. Who is Knight? He's playing this guy so well. Is that Secret Service? Is that who you're talking about? Not Secret Service. I think he was talking about the owner of the mines, Pete yeah. Sutter. Oh, you're a poach, mine poacher, huh? Maybe you and I could do some business. I was about to ask if you needed a partner for these mines. Oh, she have... wants to get in the crime game too. Well, I do have knowledge of. Some weaponry, and I'll like reveal my like arrows. You don't have to reveal them. There's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you can like gesture here. towards them. Yeah. Oh, so, so since I am so traveling, like, and I'm assuming a lot of people are traveling in, could I be reasonably like carrying a most a majority of my my stuff with me? Uh, yeah, you probably wouldn't leave it in your tent. You probably pitch your tent every night and sleep yeah. there and guard your stuff. So you got a big sack. Like pots and pans and crap and all yeah. your gear on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can add all that stuff in. And then my rifle. That's a good yes. look. Yeah. <laughs> People are armed. This is, a, this, is a, this is kind of a yeah, rugged okay. area. That's what I was mainly getting at. He's got, a gun. My rifle He's got a gun on his, on his side. <clears throat> um, but you see, most men um, have guns. Not that you have rifles, but nobody really gave you any looks when you walk yeah. around with rifles. It's on the pack. It's not in my hands. Right, right, right. Yeah. Nobody really. Yeah, you can have that. They're like, ah, it's fun. Anyway. Is that it for that conversation? Yeah. I did ask you. Right? I, I was like, yeah, 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 we, we can go, you can come with me. Gonna so go you're going to go tonight to go look for, to try to poach a mine out yeah. under somebody if you can. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 shoot, okay. Just get what I can. Uh, after reading for a few hours, I'm probably going to go head to the uh, Gilded Lily, since you said it was a saloon, and you passed by it. Yeah. Uh, see if they have any rooms for the night. Okay. What about you? He's reading for a few hours. There's a few, there's a photographer? Yes, there's actually a photographer uh, in town. He probably doesn't do a whole lot of business, um, and he's probably got an aside as like he's got an aside. He also is a chemist. He also Robert? does like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. chemistry well, yeah. kind of crap. He probably makes some stuff. Stuff. Well, he does that too, but he also sells various chemicals for various things. So um, yes, there, he, but he does. He, he's got a camera. He's got two cameras. You want to get a picture taken? Yeah. Um, Fuck me. I have no idea how much it would cost for you to get a photograph made. Oh, I have a note. I want a picture. After I'm done with the sun, I'm heading back to find my school and regroup. Okay. Give me a little chance. Oh, getting a picture of Opie. Yes. And I need to, I need to call her, though. Okay. Well, you arranged that. I got a 16. Wow. Okay. Uh, you leave and you find Vice Falls fairly quickly. You head up, up the main street. Where's the photographer? There's an old man fall. Uh, What's the number on it? 23. Probably. 23. It's right next door to the game. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you find an, uh, the, you find your collie, and there's this old man walking with her, chatting her up. Big old pack. It's got to be pack that rattles really loudly as he walks. Uh, so, so guys, well, here's an update. I found this old man who's ah. going to explore um, old caves of silver mines with me and see if uh, the is anywhere uh, nearby in any of those. I haven't told him. 
Yes, we're, we're looking, looking for, for yes, we're looking for breakfast in the mines. <laughs> also, you'll never guess who I found at the bar. Pete motherfucking Sutter. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is not in the vernacular? Hey, Bobby, which, why am I not surprised? Well, I mean, I knew you were good, but I didn't yeah, think you were that good. I like that Ben made that reference before I did. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, actually. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you guys also notice a uh, Gemma Jones sign up in front of uh, the Guild of Lilith. Like a poster somebody has made. Exactly. Who that is? <laughs> Turn around, Gemma Jones. <laughs> well, looks like fate has brought us all together. Yep. Looks like it has a tendency well, you were to Well, you knew she was coming here. Did I? Wait, didn't you? No, you no, didn't. No, I didn't. No, no, no. One of those guys did. Sorry, sorry, no. sorry. I don't know. He just didn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're Okay, um, anyway, so what's the plan? Are you getting your picture ta- yeah. taken? Okay, so you drag Jakali in to take her picture. I'm following. Um, the prospector follows you. Are you, you going to try to get the picture, Yori? No. Okay, so you're just watching now. Okay. Um, you've you got Ophelia with you. Um, the cameraman's going to take the picture. He tells you not to move. Uh, he's For a got, long, long time. It's about a minute. Yeah. He's, got a, he's got a watch that he has. Like, that's got also like a stopwatch in in it. Um, so it's got a little tiny stopwatch in the main watch in it. So he takes your picture. Um, he's, uh, and then we're blinded for like an hour. <laughs> well, since it's daylight, you would prefer to take it outside. Um, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Guys. Um, you can take it out back behind the place. The back of, of the, the <laughs> building is painted like a like a like scenery. Yeah. Or but it's easier in daylight, so because then you take the cap off and it won't have to stay off quite as long. So he takes the cap off, tells you not to move. Uh, for like a minute, he's watching the time, and then he comes like back up. Like this? Why would she? She <laughs> knows. Really cool. She can't because that's not even a thing yet. Um, Actually, it's funny because picture. most people like pose with their guns and stuff, but none of us have guns. It's just <laughs> well, people pose with guns now. Well, I guess they did then too. Yeah. No, yeah. That wasn't quite. Uh, when I was looking for photos for uh, my character, it was like oh, every yeah, was all, everybody okay. had a gun. I'm like, yeah. I can't use it because my character doesn't have. So no, no guns or any weapons or anything. Yeah, the two of you. How are you posed? I mean, what's the order? Uh, Jakala can be like kind of sitting, and then uh, me and Ophelia. Behind her. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <coughs> hands on, hands on. I, I want to, I want a picture to, her, to send Jane <laughs> to show her my new friends. Okay. Uh, Ophelia, does, Ophelia does not see the point of this exercise. Um, when you tell her that it's, it's going to be a photograph, blah, 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 she just says, what is the point of this? Uh, she doesn't seem to be too uh, on board, but she just she stands there. They, you're not supposed to smile, and nobody smiled back yeah. then in the pictures, because standing like this for a minute, and you're going to have cramps in your face. Um, so yeah, uh, the photographer can have it ready for you by tomorrow. Sweet. And he wants to know if you want more than one copy. Yes. Yeah. How many? Uh, They're probably a buck each. Oh, then uh, I'll do three. Okay, so he'll he make you three copies. Five, four. Four, okay. He'll make you four copies of the photograph. Um, There's one for each of us and then one for my sister. Oh. Okay. And then you guys get, in, and then, um... And Gilded then Lily. And then you go into the Gilded Lily, where you find Gemma Jones. Yay! Um, are, you, are you helping out with waitressing or not? Uh, That's entirely up to you. Lily doesn't ask you to. That would be something you would have to volunteer to do. Um, look, us. Okay, well, if I'm not singing, uh, I'd be helping. During the day, you're probably not. They're, they're saving you for, like, the evenings when the place okay. packs in. Yeah. Is when they usually do their shows uh, yeah, and stuff. Probably. Yeah, okay. So you find her. She's helping um, behind the bar or talking to people or being friendly, that kind of thing. And uh, you meet. And, um, yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah. There you go. Yes, good to see you as well, Miss Jones. Uh, this is our friend Ophelia, who we have uh, met along the way. Oh, hello. Can I make a check? Can I see a check? Wait, is yours here? Uh, you don't know anything about her. Okay. Um, you've never seen her before. There's a picture right there, mm-hmm. somewhere. What did it go? There she is. She's somewhat pretty, okay. uh, short blonde hair, um, wearing just a plain skirt and a blouse. And she's got this, okay. she just kind of looks at you when, when you're introduced. She kind of stares at you. 
This is Ophelia. She doesn't talk much. Hello. Yes, I'm, I'm Gemma. It's nice to meet you. She does roll her eyes when you said that. <laughs> what brings okay. you to Devil's Gulch? Oh, my sister lives here. This is her saloon, actually. Oh. So I, I'm here to, to help her out and, and perform to her in the evenings. So uh, I also just wanted to make sure, uh, you know, as you have heard about Devil's Gulch, and I wanted to make sure she she's doing all right. Uh, your sister comes out of the back where she was doing some work. Um, and goes on to do her little work, too. Okay, wait, do I introduce her? If you want, that, that's what I'm giving the opportunity. Yeah, no, if okay, I introduce her. Okay. Yeah, she, she just wasn't in the room when they first came in. No, this is my, this um, is my sister, Lily. Oh, hello. She shakes both of your hands. Um, she seems, uh, she's very pretty. She's a, a little younger than Gemma, mm-hmm. a little slimmer. Sorry. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, she's wearing dancehall girl kind of clothing, but it's nice dancehall girl clothing. It's not real revealing, that kind of thing. Um, there are there are three other dance hall girls in here. They're kind of loitering right now. There's not a lot to do during the day. There's a few other people sitting what in here like drinking. Day? It's around three to four in the afternoon. Okay. Usually the saloons will start filling up after supper, around supper time. Um, she's super glad to meet you. She says, "Oh, these are your friends." Yes. Now, have you been telling them about some of the things that have happened? Have you told Lily things that have happened to you? Uh, yeah, sure. We we sat down and talked okay. like a lot. A lot you tell of all the weird stuff, stuff or just like the friends you've made? Like how, much, how, how much have you revealed? I, I tell all the weird yeah. stuff. Okay. If she believes me, that's oh, her thing. Would she believe you? Um, would would Lily? I mean, how, what kind of sisters were you? Probably, probably halfway. Like, okay. She, she thought, does she think that you might be kind of exaggerating some of the things? She'll things? believe it if I believe it. Like, okay. So okay. she's your little sister. She looks up to you. So, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, she's she's real pleased to meet you. You're the lady who uh, heals everybody. I think that's what Gemma has seen you like like do a lot of yeah. that kind of thing. I, I, yeah, I have my dark respect, so I'm like pretty obvious. Right, and then Jakali is the one who oh, you killed that thing. I'm like, this one's a badass. Does she ask for who? Vernacular for Jakali. Jakali, oh, you killed that thing. Uh, uh in the eye. Oh yes, and that I'm assuming you shared it. information that's, with Gemma. That's that's what what killed it? <laughs> <laughs> it was my one good wow, absolutely. Yeah, that's my special. And you're both I women. Shot. I am so proud. And she shakes her hands again because she's obviously kind of an independent person as well. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and who's this? And I feel like just like stares at her. It doesn't say a word. Oh, I just met her as well. This is a uh, a friend of my friend's, yes, Ophelia, uh, who we met along the way. Um, she is. Um, well, I haven't heard anything about her. She is wise beyond her years, but not a conversationalist. Yeah. <laughs> she just kind of gives you a look, and then she walks over. She's kind of looking around the room at some of the things uh, in, in in the saloon, um, uh, like over by the bar. She's looking. Okay. She's kind of looking at. There's a lot of bottles behind the bar. You got there's some big barrels of beer. So she's just kind of looking around as if she's yeah. kind of investigating the whole thing. So, Miss Jones, have you heard anything um, different showing up in the town recently? We've been still been looking for the thing on the train. It escaped us, and uh, we're still looking for it. Yes. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm not yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you are there. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, this sorry. is the crazy problem. I totally forgot about it. Oh, did he? Oh, I didn't know. You didn't, yeah, you, rec- you don't recognize this guy. You thought he just kind of came in oh. when they came in. Hello, I'm Brendan Stolloy. No, no. You are Brendan Stolloy. No, stop. Have you guys even gotten his name yet? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah, who are you? You haven't even asked his name. name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before the Just, just calling, like, picking up strays. Okay. I guess, hello, sir. Hi, I'm Jerry. I've seen him. He's been in here. Oh, you have? He was in here the other night. Uh, last night he was in here. He was just drinking in the corner. I, I'm not. It was so full. I'm not surprised. Oh yes, I believe I do remember. Remember your attire. He, what, did, what do you drink? That's whiskey. Stupid hat. whiskey. <laughs> okay. He was drinking whiskey. No, it's not stupid. <laughs> it's not stupid. <laughs> I'm joking. I like the straw. He was carrying everything that he's carrying right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you need a room? Alright, alright. Okay. Alright, alright. Room for your rooms. But as far as any, uh, just count, just any a little bit mysterious. Of the money. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to find. I just wrote down how much the rooms cost. I, I have not, crazy. I've not thankfully seen anything of that sort. What? Mm-hmm. Why? 
Why did you mention it? Well, well, I had a dream one night, and um, some uh, slug uh, insects that I saw there told me to go to Devil's Gulch, and that everyone was in trouble, and so I'm here. Peyote, right? Sure. I've heard of that. Oh, sure. goodness, that sounds like a nightmare. I'm only heard of it, too. Why would you ever listen to, to slug insects that tell you to go somewhere? Well... There was nowhere else to go on this spooky shit trace, so, you know, <laughs> when the lead like, comes from uh, the weird creatures in your head when you sleep, that's where the lead goes. I, I respect your beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> Lily doesn't seem to know what to make of that, so she says no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, um. Her room's are probably 50 cents a night. Yeah, are, are you looking for rooms? No, a dollar, the Empire's a dollar. It's more expensive, but it's... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I guess we're looking for rooms. rooms. Yeah, you have to go to Lily. Rooms. Oh, okay. And then the bullshit okay. doesn't have rooms for sale. You want to go on our spooky shit chase, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. But... There's plenty going on around here. Have you heard about the new store that's coming in? And the courthouse they're going to build? This is going to be the county seat. I say, um... At least that's what Mr. LaForge says. I say if it's, uh... My sister's still here. She, yeah, she's she the one who's saying all this stuff to them about the county seat and stuff. Oh, that was one. Okay, right. that was that's her. Okay. Well, if it's anything to to be there for my little sister to protect her. I she comes over. She like she comes over and stands real close to you, kind of puts yeah, her on yeah, the yeah. I think uh, <coughs> this uh, man and I were going to check out um, some of the. <laughs> we were going to have a talk about it. <coughs> And about our next plans uh, later sometime tonight. <laughs> uh, I gotta go home. Sure. You and sure. Lily exchange a glint, uh, like what? <laughs> you and Bicewell and Lily look at each other, not knowing what they're talking. They have about. a room with three beds. Um, they could arrange. Okay. If you want to ask Lily about that, she says that she they can she can have an extra bedding put in three beds? to yeah. one of the rooms. Here's the Gilbert Lily. There was a map of it on the pit table somewhere. Oh, sorry. It's okay. So here's the downstairs. This is the room. This is the stage here. It's open to the top up here. There's some steps here that go up to a second floor, and there's like a balcony that goes all the way around. And then there's several rooms, and um, most of them have like big double beds, and they can she can accommodate um, uh, with with a mattress or putting some blankets and stuff on the floor for three people. Or you can probably fit three people in a bed as long as you don't mind being kind of cozy. Those Ophelia line. <laughs> you have no idea. You haven't asked. She's over looking at the stage right now. Probably not. <laughs> she like knocks on it, like seeing how strong it is. Just give her a little of those mist volcanoes. Yeah. You have no idea. Yeah. She said she could poison Jack West with a bite. You don't know if she bites in her sleep. You don't know. So it would be pretty cozy. It'd be like a queen size bed with three people in it, and that'd be a little tight. So, it's up to you guys. Okay. Um, you're still reading, because you were going to read for a few hours, you said, so you're probably going to have soon until about dinner time. Yeah, around five or six. Okay, and so let's jump to Otto, because you've been sitting here doing nothing for quite a while. What? Uh, anything else Otto wants to do that? I feel like we've been trying to discreetly head up to the <coughs> Gypsy's caravan. Uh, yes, there is a caravan on the south side of town. It's about 100 yards, about 100 feet from the, the last building. Um... If you guys want to draw on this map too, or write stuff down, you can. It's about. It's just. A, it's over in this area here. Yeah. And um, there's a woman out there. She has somewhat dark skin, but it's not real dark. Um, she's wearing a uh, cowboy hat, some rugged clothing, and she has a fire. Uh, that's kind of what she looks like. Black hair, big eyes, uh, youngish, probably in her. Uh, probably in her early twenties. Um, it looks like she is uh, just, she's obviously had this camp here for a little while. She got a little um, thing over the fire that holds a pot where she has something cooking. Um, and uh, the horses seem to be very content grazing. And she's just puttering around doing some chores, apparently. Okay. So uh, I guess I'll approach the camp and get okay. off my horse. And what? Get off my horse. Okay. Um, she says, hello. Uh, is there anything that you need? Uh, hello there. Uh, uh, my name's uh, Lambert, and uh, I'm Daisy. Nice to meet you, Daisy. Uh, well, the strangest thing happened back in 
What was the town we were in before we did the train here? Uh, Hilton Springs? Yeah. Or, uh, which, the, which town? The uh, one we took the train to get to Devil's Gulch from. Uh, that was in Denver. Denver. We took the train in Denver. Yeah. Uh, I had a strange encounter with someone in Denver. If you said that the scar I had right here was cursed. Do you happen to know anything about that? Um, I, I don't really know much about curses or anything like that. I'm sorry. But how could a scar be cursed? Well, that's what I was trying to figure out. That, that doesn't seem to make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me either.